I'm spreading a layer of salt here, and then I'm laying the fish on the top, like that. And then in a very extravagant gesture, I'm going to cover the fish with mould and salt. A little sprinkling of water on top, and you'll see that I'll make it form a crust which will be able to actually just lift off like a lid. I'm going to put the fish with the salt crust on it in the oven for half an hour. And I'm putting the butter in the pan ready for the rice. I'm going to put some fennel seed in there. Get the butter really hot and in goes the rice. Water goes in just to cover the rice. In there. And you want to get that hot because what you, what you want to do is you want to get the steam coming straight up through the rice as quickly as possible. That's the fish and the rice cooking. Now I'm going to get on and make the sauce. To start the sauce, I need to finely chop my preserved lemons. And then I'm going to do the same with garlic and capers. My soaked, squeezed, drained, washed capers. I'm just chopping them finely. And then one more thing that I'm going to add. There's a little bit of chopped garlic. And I finished chopping these all up together, so they're really finely chopped. Stirring in olive oil. Without, on its own, this is like a seriously hardcore sauce. It's like, it's, as a paste, it's just like really full on. All right, this is done. So you see that's formed a kind of crust. Look at that, and all the grains of rice, all the grains of rice are lovely and separate there. Just a tad of olive oil in with the watercress. That is great. Mmm. Right, very good. That's lovely. You've got the fish. Strangely, what happens though is that. The salt kind of brings out a sweetness in the fish. It's fantastic. And then you've got this punchy sauce and a lovely, and then the, the pilaf just lays down in the background and just lies there and this provides the kind of the bedrock for the rest of the flavors.